Hello, my name is Jan Stipek and I'm the principal here at Region International School. Welcome to the weekly updates, this week with a focus on Arabic and Islamic education. An international school is a place where students and families come from many, many different cultures, many different languages. Um, most of us are, are guests in a host country and so um, any school in any country really should look at how to celebrate and how to recognize and how to learn as much about their host country as possible, whether it's language and culture. Now in our case, obviously um, Arabic education in terms of language and culture is embedded in our school and so earlier today I had an opportunity to sit down with Mrs. Nancy Hassan who is the head of Arabic and Islamic here to learn more about the program and about the changes that she is bringing to it. So we've had another great week of learning here at uh, Region. This week was very special because we are celebrating or recognizing a mental health week with different activities in the classrooms as well as our very first, uh, for this year at least, our very first uh, Wisdom Wednesday session for parents which was really well attended and um, our counselor, Dr. Sumner, as well as our college counselor, Mrs. Rickford, presented and spoke with the students about um, coping with stress, preparing for, uh, for success in the future. And it was a very, very good session with, with a lot of Q&A at the end. Our events continue, of course. And so next week, I am looking forward to several events. There will be an opportunity for parents to come and meet the principal, myself, and the members of the senior leadership team. We do have two sessions where we will be available to answer any questions that you have and really come and engage with you. So the EYFS and primary session will be on Tuesday morning at eight o'clock. And the same then for secondary will take place on Thursday at the same time here on campus in the glass box. And as I said, really the format is for you to meet us, to hear from the different members of the SLT, we do have some specific focus areas, which I uh, mentioned in my invitation, which you should have received uh, yesterday or this morning. Um, and as, as well, we will be able to answer any questions that you might have. In addition, another great event which is coming up is the FRIS Organized Sustainability Market. This is the very first um, iteration of this particular event where we are looking to um, allow our community to really come and engage and actually sell used items to really give them another life and this is happening next Wednesday. So speaking of engaging with parents, there's one area which I'm aware of and that's communication. Now any school communicates with the families a lot, we have to. We have to communicate about, um, about operational matters as well of course about your child's progress and attainment and, and their overall well-being, that's given. I'm aware that there have been many emails that parents have been receiving uh, from us and so we are looking at a way and we will be trialing a new way of con combining some of those emails into sort of a less frequent um, mode of communication so that we can still communicate all of the important information to you but in a much more succinct and much more manageable format. So stay tuned for changes to our communication approach. I'm sitting down with Mrs. Nancy Hassan, our head of Arabic and Islamic. Welcome to the interview. Thank you. I think the first question for me is you have a lot of experience with um, Arabic and Islamic studies. And I really would like to learn about the three areas that you oversee. So can you talk to us about what those are and what are the differences between those areas? Uh, first of all, thank you for uh, this opportunity. Um, I am leading uh, the Arabic and the Islamic department here uh, at RIS and uh, it's my honor to, uh, to work with the three uh, most important uh, departments in school. Um, I will speak uh, firstly about Arabic A student or Arabic A department, uh, which is for the Arab uh, students who are holding the Arabic passport mm -hmm. and they, they are registered in a school in, with Arab passport. Uh, this curriculum should be in Arabic and we follow the Ministry of Education uh, curriculum. Uh, then we have uh, Arabic B uh, department uh, and it's uh, for non-native speakers, uh, students who are not holding an Arab passport. And it's also in Arabic, but it's a different curriculum with different framework from the KHD as well. Mm -hmm. And I will speak later about how we modify and adapt the curriculum for these students. 
then the Islamic uh, department, which is also divided by two department, uh, Islamic A for non for for the for the native speakers and Islamic B for the non-native speakers. Uh, they are the same curriculum, but the, uh, the only difference is uh, Islamic A is taught in Arabic and Islamic B is taught in English. But it's same curriculum, same framework, uh, same expectations. I see. Thank you. So you mentioned the curriculum. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to, to find out from you what changes are you planning to bring to the curriculum of these three areas? Yeah. So as I mentioned before, uh, we follow uh, the Ministry of Education, Arabic and the Islamic curriculum. But we enrich this curriculum with um, online resources uh, using technology mm -hmm. and uh, a good reading platform to improve the students uh, uh, reading skills um, the most important thing that we started this year to do is uh, to modify and adapt the curriculum so it can close the students knowledge gaps and also to be deal or to cover all the students levels in arabic and islamic you spoke about enhancements and changes to the curriculum so I'm curious, how can we improve the way that our students learn Arabic even further? Yeah, uh, from first uh, day I, uh, I started in, in school, uh, my goal is to make students learn Arabic with love. Because if they love it, they will easily learn it. Uh, and this is achieved by uh, choosing interesting content for the students, having fun in the Arabic class, and uh, uh, also linking the lessons with real life. We have uh, fun in the Arabic class by uh, singing, uh, acting and role play. So we have so many activities we can do in the Arabic class uh, and the students are happy. Uh, most of them are happy so, uh, with these activities because they learn it was, was fun. Uh, we, we, we train our teachers to plan lessons uh, uh, which, which suit all the, the students' learning styles and also to suit all the students' levels. Uh, the thing is that makes me happy when I see that students come to the Arabic class with big smiles at, uh, on their faces and they greet me in Arabic. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you for sharing not only the changes and what the curriculum looks like, but really your own philosophy and how you lead the department. Thank so you thank for you giving so me this opportunity. Thank you. I hope you find these weekly updates useful. Thank you for watching and have a very nice weekend.